Hello friends, and we are safely in port here in Freeport. And we're we're waiting for the storm to pass. We're currently under tornado watch. Hello there, I'm Matt. This is Nancy, Olivia, and Mocha. Last year we sold our house, everything we owned, and bought a sailboat, Cadence. She's our new home as we learn to sail and live on anchor. And hopefully soon, leave land for good. If you're new here, we hope you enjoy the show. And click that subscribe button to see new episodes on Sundays. There's thunderstorms, lightning, heavy wind. But this is the storm we were um, hiding from. Uh, we left anchor to come all the way up here. And we're waiting for it to pass before we head back offshore. Also, uh, this evening, this uh, weather system is going to get pushed back offshore with a norther blowing in. And we don't want to be out in that either, so we're spending the night here. And hopefully we'll be leaving offshore tomorrow on the back end of that north front. And there should be good wind. Uh, it'll be coming from the west off the land, we should have a good sail. holiday journey, I guess you call it. Uh, we just left Freeport. It was not as bad as last time at all. I'm not even seasick. Thanks for all the sailors who recommended the Bonine and the Ginger. It's helping. Um, currently, we are... Sorry, I get a little nervous when that boom bounces. Currently, there's only four knots of wind and we're going 3.3. But we have the Genoa out and we have the main uh, halfway out. Three quarters, three quarters. We were preparing for that gust. We oh, yeah. got hit by an 18 knot. Three quarters. Anyway, um, it's going back up to seven and eight knots now. So we're, we're sailing, we're on a beam reach. We're heading back toward Galveston, Kima. We're gonna take it slow. We've got chili made with cornbread later to keep us warm and hot tea, but it is out here. I think I got four layers on. <laughs> I need to go to the slope. Where is the snow? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Very gentle, gentle sail. It's actually less wind than predicted and the waves are less than predicted. Right now, there's almost no swell. It was predicted about a three foot swell. We had some of that at the jetties. Yeah, it's a one, a little one footer. So this is pleasant. I think I'm gonna go downstairs and cook some breakfast. Maybe some eggs and tortillas. <sighs> Mainly, I just wanna go in and get warm. Cheater. Start it off there. Ooh, too much oil. And... Forgot about you. Forgot about him. It's gonna be too hot. It's not burnt. It's not burnt yet. Okay, so 
let's uh let's take care of this egg. Like I'm Can you see that heel? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. It's a nice sail today. It's calm, it's relaxing. We got six and a half knots of speed with only ten knots of wind. I'll take that. We used to never get that much speed with this little wind. Yes, if the uh, waves get to be too rolly for me. All right, now I feel good. We're at the 30 foot line, about 30 to 40 feet deep. And we're not far offshore. No reason to on this short tri trip. It's a 40 mile sail, 40 nautical miles. And so, it doesn't take too long. Uh, I should have cooked two eggs. That's pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. We are. Um, look at that dog wants some. Hey, no, 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 that dog's licking my taco. Huh. Oh. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> so oh, anyway. Oh, by the way. Yeah? Has anyone else like ever done a beach cleanup for their birthday? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, that's cool. And also, if you think it's weird, let us know. Okay. A be beach fun. cleanup, huh? Yeah. And what would that be like? We're just going to clean the beach with the family. And eat cake. Sounds good. Cake food. And what, uh, what for dinner? Hibachi grill. A little Japanese, is that your favorite? Winterland, tell me all your secrets. Bring me in on your wildest moments. Color trees, your yellow leaves move me. Oh. Dancing moves, your paint, your red shakes the room. From the uh, helms person here. What's our uh, wind speed, boat speed? The wind speed is currently at 11, but it's gusting up to 15 and a half, and we're going anywhere from six and a half knots to eight knots in those gusts. Good, good. That sounds really good. And a beam reach, 30 feet depth, easy sailing. Is the sun keeping you warm? No. Me neither. My legs. Oh, God. My legs are freezing. Hey, my Who's on watch out here? Not you. Not me. What you doing, kiddo? Cool. Thank you, Nancy, for making us that broth, a little warm broth to keep us warm. It's a cool day. It's pretty out. I mean, just a few little clouds, but we're making some killer speed. Seven to eight knots, more around eight knots all day. And 12 knots of wind. <clears throat> it's gusting right now at about 13, 15. So we're just blasting through here. It's a lot of fun. You having fun? Yeah. Let's see. What are I'm we going to do? I'm glad I'm able to be downstairs. Yeah. If you hear that groaning sound, that ooh, that's the uh, propeller. We're trying it out by putting it in neutral. I don't really like it, do you? I don't either. I go put it in reverse. Put it in reverse. It's going to be a hard shift. I'll wait till we kind of slow a bit. It's a lot of vibration. I shouldn't be doing that. I'll check with some other sailors to see if we should leave the <laughs> propeller in neutral or put it in reverse to stop it. I don't know. But the sail's going good. It's comfortable down here, right? Yeah. It's warm. Ah, oh, I was going to check the batteries. 
right now we're only running I turned VHF off because we have the handheld radio so we're only running nav instruments, autopilot, chart plotter, AIS, and refrigerator. I just want to keep my eye on the batteries so that we don't show up to port and <clears throat> engine not start. We've ran these uh, lead acid batteries pretty hard. We've drained them a couple times accidentally. And so, anyway, I'm just keeping my eye on them. Right now they're at 12.7 volts. 12.75. I'm gonna flip it over just to one. Can you do that in the middle of it? Yeah, engine's not on. We can move the switch. Might reset the electronics, I don't know. So I have it on battery two right now. Which means battery one, battery two is the one pulling the amps negative three to four amps battery one that's just probably a tenth of an amp for this meter so we'll see if that saves it we'll see how long this battery can go running the autopilot like this too so it really doesn't feel like we're moving that fast unless we sit back in the back of the cockpit because we're going with the uh, waves and we have not had an experience offshore where we've done this. All of our experience has really been close reaching into the waves. You know, it's rough, it's violent, or at least we thought it was. Uh, but now, this is so pleasant going with the waves. We're pretty much on a dead beam reach. It's pleasant, it's calm, and it's surprisingly fast. It's so surprisingly fast. So, I think I prefer this type of sailing versus going into the wind and waves. Uh, it just feels better. And we're just relaxing, enjoying the beautiful day. How's it feel? It's perfect, it's easy. Good that I'm not anxious. <laughs> this is not like the first few times we came out here, is it? No, the first few times I was so scared and so nervous, I think that's what caused my seasickness. But I've been downstairs for at least 30 minutes now, cooking, and I feel fine. Bonnie might be helping too, like. Really has to do with fatigue and nerves, doesn't it? Yeah. I get super anxious, so. We even had alcohol last night, so it's not really as much hydration, yeah, is we've it? We've had coffee for days. <laughs> Poor brother's gonna be mad at us. <laughs> Although we did hydrate, we had like 40 ounces of water before we went to bed. Right before bed, yeah. I was and we up. had tea this morning, so it's quite a bit of water. So it's mainly nerves that create that seasickness, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think so for me too. We've got a good gust right now. Five nautical miles away from the Galveston jetties. So they're just over my shoulder, but the wind has died. I'm just gonna wrap up the day here. Uh, I'm going into the jetties slowly. It's such a slow pace. It's um, different than a few nights ago, uh, two weeks ago when we were heading down to Port Aransas. It's different than even this morning when we were coming out and had good solid 16 knots of wind. It's good, it's good times, it's really good.